Selamat pagi. Salam jumpa bersama dengan saya, Emor Hendrik Novi Sujadi, mahasiswa PPG dalam Jabatan Angkatan 1 tahun 2021, Prodi Pendidikan Bahasa Inggris, PPG Universitas Ahmad Dahlan, Yogyakarta. Terima kasih. Selamat mengikuti praktik pembelajaran saya pada hari ini. Okay, let's start. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the class today. And I hope that you are all in a good condition. Thank you for joining the class today. And our English class today will be open with a prayer. And can Emmanuel, would you please lead us in prayer? Yes, Nir. Yes, please. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for your blessing. Now we will start our English lesson. Please bless us so we can understand the lesson. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. So, is everyone already here? Aurora, Maria, Tuama Wailan, Jonathan, Handel, Hiskia, Sonia, Angel, Emmanuel, and Gamaliel. Okay, so everyone is here. Okay, um, let's continue to our uh, lesson. Our lesson today is we are going to talk about something about formal invitation. So let me share something for you, right? Okay, before we start, okay, show me your face today. Which picture describe you today? Gamma. Number two, sir. Okay, you are smiling. Jonathan. Yes, sir. Uh, probably same with Gamma, sir. Number two, sir. Oh, number two. Sonia, which one is your face? Same, sir, number two. Okay, so are you happy to follow the class today? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. then. Let's continue our presentation, right? We are going to talk about formal invitation. So, um, we are going to talk about KD 3.3 dan 4.3. The basic competencies are... 3.3 membedakan fungsi sosial, struktur teks, dan unsur kebahasaan beberapa teks khusus dalam bentuk undangan resmi dengan memberi dan meminta informasi terkait kegiatan sekolah atau tempat kerja sesuai dengan konteks penggunaannya. 4.3 teks undangan resmi 4.3.1 menangkap makna secara kontekstual terkait fungsi sosial, struktur teks, dan unsur kebahasan teks khusus dalam bentuk undangan resmi, lisan dan tulis terkait kegiatan sekolah atau tempat kerja. 4.3.2 Menyusun teks khusus dalam bentuk undangan resmi, lisan dan tulis terkait kegiatan sekolah atau tempat kerja dengan memperhatikan fungsi sosial, struktur teks, dan unsur kebahasan secara benar dan sesuai konteks. What about the indicators? The indicators that we are going to fulfill today 3.1 mengidentifikasi fungsi sosial, struktur teks, dan unsur kebahasan beberapa teks khusus dalam bentuk undangan resmi. 3.3.2 menganalisis fungsi sosial, struktur teks, dan unsur kebahasan teks undangan resmi. 4.3.1 menemukan informasi tertentu pada teks undangan resmi. And 4.3.2 membuat undangan resmi terkait kegiatan sekolah. So, the learning objectives are melalui pendekatan saintifik dengan model problem-based learning dan metode diskusi dan presentasi, peserta didik kelas 11 mampu mengidentifikasi dan menganalisis fungsi sosial, struktur teks, dan unsur kebahasaan beberapa teks khusus dalam bentuk undangan resmi, serta mampu menemukan informasi tertentu dan menyusun teks khusus dalam bentuk undangan resmi, lisan, dan tulis. terkait kegiatan sekolah, tempat kerja, dengan memperhatikan fungsi sosial, struktur teks, dan unsur kebahasaan secara benar dan sesuai konteks penggunaannya, sehingga terbentuk sikap jujur, bertanggung jawab, dan peduli. Okay, that's our um, uh, learning objective. And let's continue. I have a picture here. What picture is this? It's a wedding sir. Yes, it's a... It's a wedding invitation. It's a wedding invitation. Wedding. 
Yes, it's a wedding invitation. So, uh, why do they send invitation? Do you know the reason why people send invitation? Why do they uh, send invitation? So, uh, in invitation, there are uh, two kinds of invitation. The first one is a formal invitation. And then the next one is informal invitation. Today, we are going to talk about formal invitation. What is formal invitation? Formal invitation, according to Webster's Dictionary, is an invitation which follows a dignified form, tone, or style in agreement with an established norm, custom, or value. Jadi, menurut kamus, undangan resmi itu adalah sebuah undangan yang mengikuti bentuk-bentuk tertentu atau gaya tertentu yang disetujui sebagai standar ya berarti ada standar-standar yang harus diikuti untuk dinyatakan sebagai formal invitation for example if of a formal invitation we can see a formal invitation on uh, a wedding invitation or a graduation ceremony or even invitation to a business event and the social function of a formal invitation is to invite someone to attend an event which follows a dignified form tone and or style in agreement with the established norm customs or value so again the social function is to invite tentu apabila kita ingin uh, mengundang seseorang apalagi itu uh, adalah sebuah acara yang formal, acara yang resmi, maka dia harus diundang secara resmi dengan undangan yang resmi tentunya. That's why we need to learn about the formal invitation, right? About the generic structure of an invitation. In an invitation, there are three main parts of an invitation. The first one is the receiver. The second one is the body of invitation. The third one is sender. So let's talk about the first one. The first one is receiver, or we can say to whom the, inv the invitation will be sent. The receiver is the name of the person addressed or invited. Jadi receiver adalah orang yang diundang, right? And then the second one, body of invitation. The contents of the invitation usually include the following such as first one is subject or name of the event the second one is day or date and then the other one is time and also it must have place so uh jonathan can you describe the body of invitation apa saja yang harus ada pada sebuah body of invitation so the first point is subject or name of the event which means um, subjek atau uh, nama dari kegiatan atau event yang akan diadakan okay the second point is day or date uh, which means the um, tanggal atau hari kegiatan yang akan dilaksanakan the third is the time or waktu yes dan uh, the last is place or tempat pelaksanaan yes thank you okay sir so uh it is clear that um an invitation must have the name of the event day or day time and place and then the third one is the sender the sender is the person who sent the invitation sender itu orang yang mengundang orang yang mengirimkan undangan Jadi kalau kita ada acara, kita mau undang orang lain, kita itu jadi sender. Oke, okay. uh, the next um, slide is the, the example. Ini ada contoh sebuah invitation. Right? Mr. and Mrs. Pujianto cordially request the pleasure of your company on the wedding ceremony of their daughter, Siti, with Daffy on Friday the 12th of December 
at 7 o'clock in Gedung Kartini, Jalan Gatot Subroto, Jakarta. RSVP on Yani 0212673457. Or email to wedding at gmail.com. And dinner will be served at 8 p.m. sharp. So there are um, information inside uh, invitation. We can see there are many invi- uh, main information in a invitation. So the breakout is like this. Mr. and Mrs. Pujanto is what? Sender or receiver? Sender. Sender? Sender, sir. Yes, sender. they are the sender. That means they are the host of the party, right? The host of the event. And then there is a, a phrase like, cordially request the pleasure of your company. Now, in Bahasa, we can uh, sometimes say, say says like this, uh, Mengundang saudara untuk menghadiri pesta anak kami. Yeah? So, this is the phrasing of the invitation. Jadi kita uh, menyatakan undangan kita. Kami mengundang saudara untuk hadir bersuka cita bersama dengan kami. Yeah, seperti itu. And then, the third one is kind of event. Handel, can yes, you sir. say that what is the event? in this invitation uh, okay sir in this example of invitation um, talks about the main event uh, the wedding um, party or ceremony yes wedding oh, ceremony the, 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 yes. thank you what about the the date Sonia Sonia sorry. okay sir when is the date so this, the date was 12 of December on Friday sir okay And then the time is at 7 o'clock. The venue or the place is at Gedung Kartini at Jalan Gatot Subroto. And then there is something here about the RSVP. What is actually RSVP? RSVP is a process for a response from the invited person or people. So... RSVP means a response from the invited people or person. So when we see an RSVP, that means we must, we have to respond. We must give a response if we are going to the event or not. So uh, in responding the invitation, Formal invitation should be responded to within three days. Replies are written in third person. Replies have to be handwritten. Reason, reason should be briefly stated for declining the invitation. Jadi, kita harus membalasnya dalam jangka waktu tiga hari. Ditulis tangan pada kertas yang sudah disediakan tentunya. Kalau berhalangan tidak hadir, bahwa... Anda tidak akan hadir pada undangan tersebut, maka silakan tuliskan alasannya secara singkat saja. So, this is the examples. In uh, accept, accepting the invitation, for example is, Mr. and Mrs. Eri Utomo accept with pleasure the kind of invitation of Mr. and Mrs. Pujianto to the wedding ceremony of their daughter on Friday the 12th of December at 7 o'clock. Another uh, example is, Mr. and Mrs. Wibowo accept the invitation with... What about uh, declining? Mr. and Mrs. Sitomarang regret, regret that they are unable to accept the kind invitation of Mr. and Mrs. Pujanto for Friday, the 12th of December at 7 o'clock, due to prior engagement. Jadi, ada alasannya. Mereka tidak akan hadir karena ada, uh, ada hal, hal yang lain, ya. Yeah? Mr. and Mrs. Wibowo regret to decline the invitation due to health reason. Nah, Mrs. and Mr. and Mrs. Wibowo tidak bisa hadir karena alasan kesehatan. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about the language features? The language, the language uh, characteristics here is it should be written in simple way. Jadi, 
sebuah invitation harus uh, isinya harus simple ditampilkan dalam uh, secara sederhana precise harus tepat and then concise word jadi kata-kata yang uh, digunakan harus tepat dan bermakna ya and then detailed information sebuah invitation harus berisi details informasi yang ditampilkan haruslah terperinci dan jelas ya the tone should be friendly and sincere penggunaan tone di sini harus friendly and sincere karena kita uh, tujuan kita adalah mengundang mengajak mereka untuk datang ya jadi kita harus uh, mengeset tone kita agar supaya kita terdengar atau terlihat seperti sedang meminta mereka untuk datang harus uh, friendly apa uh, punya kedekatan antar teman and sincere um, harus uh, tulus ya words should be chosen carefully jadi kata-kata yang uh, yang akan ditampilkan harus dipilih secara uh, baik agar supaya tidak tidak menyinggung uh, orang yang akan kita undang the style of writing should be formal the style of writing should be formal jadi uh, style dari invitation ini harus mengikuti style yang formal berikutnya the common format of formal invitation so uh, this is what you are going to do uh, when you are uh, doing the your task of writing an invitation right so i'm going to read this the first one is put the organization or host logo at the top of the invitation if any jadi kalau ada logo silakan ditaruh karena formal invitation bukan saja undangan perorangan tapi undangan uh, kantor juga bisa undangan organisasi juga bisa nah yang memiliki logo adalah misalnya organisasi tapi kalau perorangan kan tidak punya organisasi uh, tidak punya logo that's why if any logo put your logo at the top of the invitation the second one is write the host full name tuliskan nama dari pengundang the third one is extend the invitation such as request your presence or cordially invite you to attend the fourth one is provide information about the event maybe you are going to invite them for uh, a breakfast then you must put the info of a breakfast party for example or it is an award ceremony then you must put in the invitation the detail the information of the event the fifth state the purpose of the event the event so if the uh, if the event uh, if the invitation is about uh, something then we must state the purpose of the event jangan sampai ketika orang menerima undangan mereka tidak uh, mereka bingung dengan apa yang akan mereka hadiri acara apa ini karena tidak disebutkan uh, jenis acara itu atau untuk apa acara itu the sixth is provide the date of the event the seventh is write the time of the event in full jadi ada tanggal pelaksanaan kegiatan dan juga ada waktu waktu yang jelas for example 7 am to 9 am agar supaya orang yang diundang bisa mengatur waktunya the eight is provide the location of the event and its street address so about the venue you must uh, provide the the information in a uh, correct correct location okay not not only saying about uh, for example at my house because not everyone know your house right that is why if you're going to make a party at your house you must uh, provide provide it with the location of your house and then the number nine 
provides special instruction. So if any instruction, if there is any instruction, you must tell them. For example, dinner will be served at 9, a, 9 p.m. That is why we must uh, tell it. We must say it in the invitation. And then the last one, include your RSVP. So I, I have um, tell many things. Are there any questions from you? No, sir. No. So, uh, okay. Um, if there is no question, I'm going to divide you into two groups. And then we are going to do the LKPD. Okay. I have set three LKPD for you to do in order to fulfill our uh, indicators. And then after uh, doing the LKPD, you are going to, to do the Uji competency. Okay. So, um, Jonathan, Handel, Sonia, Angel, and Iskia, you are going to join the group one. And then Aurora, Gamaliel, Emmanuel, Maria, and Tuama, you are going to join the group two. Okay. <clears throat> I have sent the link of group one and group two. Please leave this meeting and then join into the group one and group two meeting. Okay. I'm going to share you the link. So you can download the KPD and then do the assignment. Okay. I'm going to give you 30 minutes to do the assignment. So please divide the task inside your group. So there are five of you. Please um, divide the, the task into each one of you. So everyone will contribute to solve the problem. And then you can finish the, the task in 30 minutes, okay? Are you ready, guys, with your presentation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Jonathan, let us start with group one. Yes, please. Okay, sir. Um, please handle to share the presentation. Okay. Yes, please. okay. So this is our answer. Please for friends who have been divided to read the answer. Okay, so in LKPD number one, in picture number one, the name of host is Mr. and Mrs. Robert Stone. The phrase that pressing the invitation was, we look forward to celebrating with you, that written on the last paragraph of this invitation. The kind of event was dinner party and the purpose of the event was to celebrate Cherry's graduation. Date will be held 21st May and the time was six o'clock in the evening. For the places, there's no explanation about the place. And on the picture number two, names of host is Bella. The pressing the invitation was celebrate with us. The kind of event was birthday party. Purpose of the event was to celebrate Bella's birthday, and the date will be held to talk on. 29 August, the time will be held on 8 p.m. in on the evening. And the place will be held at Bella's home. There's no special instructions and request to response from the sender was the sender asked the attendants to RSVP to Mita by contacting the number. And okay. picture number three, names of hosts is Jocelyn and Roberto. Pressing the invitation with a joyful request the pleasure of your company together with your family to celebrate our wedding reception that has written on the first paragraph of the picture. The kind of event was cer wedding ceremony and the purpose of the event was Jocelyn and Roberto wedding. Date will be held on 5 September 2020. Time will be held at 3 p.m. Place the, center, the central ballroom. And the, and the special instruction, the sender asked the attendants to RSVB to Rebecca at the number that has been right at, at the picture before, 2000, before 28 September 2020. And there's no request to response from the sender. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Uh, what about the group, group two? Can uh, someone deliver the the uh, presentation about group two. Aurora, 
There are three of us that going to discuss in LKPD one. I'm going to share screen it. Okay, yes, please. Mm. So in the text one, name of host is the Miss Mr. and Mrs. Robert Stone is the answer. Pressing the invitation, we look forward to celebrating with you. The kind of event, dinner, purpose of the event, celebrating their daughter, daughter graduation date, May 21, 2019, time at 6 p.m. And for the place special instruction and request to respond, there are no contacts in the invitation. The second one is by Tuama Wailan Pangimana. So um, the name of host is Bella, raising the, the invitation, celebrate with us. The kind of event, birthday, purpose of the event, celebrates Bella's birthday. And the date, 29 of August. Time, 8 p.m., place at her home, special instruction, no, um, request to response, RSVP to meet up by contacting the number. That's for the invita second invitation, and the last is by Mesika Moning Maria Moninka. For the picture number three, names of hosts Jocelyn and Roberto, phrasing the invitation with joyful request to pleasure uh, of your company together with your family to celebrate our wedding reception. The kind of event, wedding reception, purpose of the event to celebrate Jocelyn and Roberto's wedding. Date, 5th September 2020, time 3 p.m., place the central ballroom, special instruction known, request to response, RSPV to Rebecca at the number of before August 28, 2020. Okay, <clears throat> thank you for your uh, answer, guys. I can see that you have tried to answer your best, and then... I can also see that uh, you have met you have made your uh, your answer the best for every group. So thank you very much. Nice try. And then let's continue to the LKPD two. Okay. Now please Eskia to read the answer at LKPD two. Okay, Eskia. Okay. For the first question, what is the letter about? The answer is inviting us to the 15th annual BH Awards <coughs> benefit. Number two, the question is, where will the occasion be held? The answer is, the Napa Trails in 3155 Jackson Boulevard, Tal Plains, Florida. Number three, who sends the invitation letter? The answer is, the Bankson Corporations. Number four, how should the person invited reply the invitation? The answer is RSVP to Susan Whitler to the number. Number five, how should we dress? The answer is black and white cocktail attire. Number six, what is the special information? The answer is admission. Admission is $50 per person. Number seven, what is the intention of this formal invitation for the for this question we didn't have the answer okay thank you group two who is going to present i'll be the one who screen share and gamayel sendo will present it on the second LKPD. okay okay number one what is the letter about the answer a letter about invitation with the 15th annual BH Awards Banquet. Number two, where would the occasion be held? The trails in 3155 Jackson Boulevard, Tall, Florida. Number three, who sent the invitation letter? The answer, the Bankstone Houston Corporation. Number four, how should the person invite replay the invitation? The answer, RSVP to Susan with vital number five. How the answer black and white cocktail attire. <clears throat> number six. 
what is the special information the answer admission is fifty dollars per person and the last number what is the intentions of this formal invitation the answer is to invite everyone to the banquet celebrating the 15th annual bs world banquet okay nice try group two and thank you for your answers so uh, let's continue to the next lkpd lkpd tiga so uh, the task is um to compose a formal invitation letter by seeing the situation so the first situation is your school is going to hold the 17th anniversary so you are involved to compose the invitation letter as you are the captain of passes or student council in your school so i'll read the uh, text or the letter for us celebrating the 17th anniversary student council we hope you come and celebrate it with us come to the party in the school hall 14th of july 2021 at 2 p.m rsvp rsvp Sonia, and the number is written below. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. So, uh, I want to ask you about, is there any time and place there? Yes, sir, sure. The yes. time is at 2 p.m. Okay, let's yes, continue sir. to group two. On situation two. Um, for us in group two, we are discussing on the second situation yeah. uh, so uh, in the group we compose a formal invitation letter by seeing the situation below and for the situation which is there will be a prom night at the end of sm of the first semester you are going to make the invitation since you are the head of the committee. So this is our invitation. Uh, prom night, you are invited. Celebrating after the end of the first semester, we request the honor of your presence. Date is 15 of December 2021. Time is 16, 16 o'clock. Place on the Auditorium Bukit Inspirasi. Dress code is winter theme and the RSPV is is you can contact to healthy with the number below before 10 the 10th of december 2021 okay thank you we have come to the end of our meeting today and i can see that you have made a progress you have learned about uh, in a formal invitation by doing the lkpd one two and three and you've done a good job You've made a uh, great work, and I'm proud of you. So, to close our meeting, um, I want Jonathan. Hi, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Can you give some conclusion? What have you learned today? So, uh, today, um, we are learning about uh, the invitation letter. So, it, uh, the invitation letter, letter was separate. Um, into two. The first one is formal invitation letter and the second is informal invitation letter. So we also learn about the social function of invitation letter and we also learn about um, the structure of the letter. Okay. So, Anyone? So, um, by, learning, by learning the letter, um, we all can um, hope that we all can write our own letter um formal or informal so that in other condition or in the future if we need to uh, write it to our company or to our boss um, we already knew how to uh, write it okay thank yeah, you jonathan question for today sir so um next one i'm going to give you a, a link for you to do the uji competency that will be in the form of Google Form, okay? So it is easy for you to to access because it is in the Google Form. So guys, we are also going to going to fill the um, lumbar reflexi and also in the form of Google Form. 
So please find your time to fill those two forms. So when you fill the reflexy, I can know or recognize what is your uh, difficulties and what have you learned today. And then me also will do the reflection on my teaching. I will also do my reflection. So guys, uh, finish our meeting today. I'm going to say thank you to you guys for joining the class today. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you also for your um, attending the class. Next time, we will meet again with another um, Kade also. Okay? So, uh, let me have your, um, your face, guys. I want to have a screenshot. I want to take a photo of you. Okay, thank you. Once again, thank you for your cooperation. And can Gamaliel uh, close us in prayer? Okay, sir. Let's pray. <clears throat> our Father in heaven, thank you for your blessing for us. Now we have finished our lesson. Please bless us so we can understand uh, our lesson today. This is our pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, amen. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye. See you, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.